G'day. Before we get into this video, I just had a few points that I'd like to let you guys know. First of all, this video you're about to see was shot a few weeks ago before we went to the USA on our holiday. So it's a little older, but it's still relevant. Secondly, the reason why you are seeing it and not something else is because I was working on something else. I was actually considering scrapping this video altogether. But since it's raining cats and dogs, I haven't been able to do the extra filming that I would have liked. So I decided I would revisit this video and bring it to you instead. Because like I said, it's still relevant and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and this strawberry here, look how red and beautiful it is, hanging over our flourishing grow wall made from recycled, upcycled old pallets is going to be a fantastic thing to eat. And I can guarantee you, it's got no needles inside of it. And that's important and very relevant to this video because at the moment, I don't know if you know, but there is a crisis in Australia. You must have been living under a big pile of strawberries dumped at the back of the dump there, tens of tons of it, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Because this is a really terrible thing. Strawberries are getting filled full of needles here in Australia by a whole bunch of people apparently, not just one or two maniacs, but several copycats now are putting sharp objects and things in fruit and sabotaging the fruit industry here in Australia. As you know, I haven't been the biggest supporter of farmers and especially big agriculture. I promote growing food at home. I'm a big advocate for growing your own food. However, in this video, I really have to come to the defense of farmers and even big agriculture because lots of people's jobs depend on these things. And of course, backyard farmers like myself, although I would love us all to be able to feed the world and everybody to be able to do it, it's not practical, is it? Not everyone can have even a small vegetable garden. You know, some of us are lucky enough to have some acreage and grow a large veggie patch like this and plenty of little projects along the way to grow their own food. Plenty of others though live in spaces that they don't even get enough sunlight to even if they've got a place for their own garden to grow their own produce. So they have to get their produce from somewhere. Many of them go out of their way and support small farmers and farmers markets and small operators that are struggling themselves but love what they do and are really invested in healthy produce, organic, that doesn't have bloody needles in it. At the moment, like I said at the intro, there's a huge issue in Australia. Over the last week, there's been problems with maniacs or weirdos or people paying back their employers for getting fired or who knows, no one knows exactly what it is. Uh, copycats now, just doing it for what, fun? Are sticking needles, it started with strawberries and now I think it's moved to some apples and other produce. Regardless, there's no excuse for such a horrendous act. There's no excuse to, no matter what, even if you got fired unjustly from your job, there's no excuse for trying to ruin that business and at the same time put other people's lives in jeopardy. I just can't understand what is going wrong with the world at the moment. We seem to be in this era where we're reverting back to 10,000 years ago when humans just had no structure at all. And I'm not really sure why this is happening, why so many people now are feeling entitled and these people like i said they, they can't be mentally deranged they have to be normal in a sense that they know what they're doing which makes it even more sinister because a mental person wouldn't have the aptitude really to to do these type of things you'd have to be a sane person who wants to get revenge and inflict as much damage as possible on an industry or individuals so these people are, are growing it seems like growing exponentially across our society at the moment. They seem to 
have this lack of empathy. They seem to have a really vengeful side to them. They seem to go over the top with their actions. They don't care about what the implications might be. And it's quite scary. And look, oh yes, I've been an advocate for growing your own food and I've said many times because of the use of, overuse of pesticides, overuse of herbicides in the garden, overuse of things like glyphosate, which is a herbicide, poisoning things around and getting into our food chain in trace elements and that type of thing that's possibility could cause cancers. I say that a lot. I worry about the E. coli and the bacteria and the, the salmonellas getting into the food infecting salads in you know because of poor hygiene throughout the industry i worry about those outbreaks and i worry about imported foods from say china the berry problem we had where frozen berries were even infected with bacteria that could cause harm to people when they ate it so yes i've been a big advocate for growing your own food for many of those types of health reasons now i hear today on the news that our Prime Minister ScoMo, Scott Morrison, has brought in new laws practically overnight and he wants them passed by the rest of Parliament and I hope the rest of Parliament don't play politics with this and just go hammer and tong. They want to increase the penalties for doing such behaviour, for compromising food, for food sabotage, that type of thing. They want to double or increase it at least by half those penalties and I think that's a really good start and send that message but and I also believe here in Queensland where this thing started the Queensland government has put a whole heap of coppers on the job and they've also given support the federal and state governments have given support to the farming industry here the strawberry farming industry to try to keep them afloat because tens of tons of strawberries have just now had to be dumped and are now just I don't know, rotting away in big piles and probably have to be buried so that they don't spread fruit fly everywhere. Lots of the plants have been burnt as well by farmers you know, for quarantine reasons and all that. So this is just a horrible, horrible thing. So instead of using this as an opportunity to say, grow your own like we do, because we've also got our mulberries in bloom at the moment and in fruit and they are just producing the most wonderful berries. I say, yes, of course, think about growing your own, but that's not gonna, that's gonna take some time. In the meantime, support your local growers, especially things like go and pick your own. You might see more of that in our local communities now of strawberry farmers not being able to afford to pay labor. So they might put a sign up and say, look, come and pick your own. If you pick your own strawberries, well, you know there's not gonna be anything in them at least. You know what I mean? You can check them out yourself and you can pick them live off the plant and that's going to be better as well but support them support your local farmers and the and even in the supermarkets i would say do what the pollies and everything have been saying and cut the fruit up i don't want to be over extra alarmist here uh, and i'm not going to give any extra hints to those maniacs that might be watching this type of video but i hope this doesn't progress from needles in fruit where they have to get metal detectors now and screen the fruit. I hope it doesn't progress onto anything worse than that. Because I personally could think of several other ways that could be worse than just sticking a needle into a strawberry, if you know what I mean. And I'm not gonna disclose what I think. And please don't write them down in the comments below because let's not have any more copycats. But what we need to do as a society is weed out these types of mongrel lowlives who live in this justifiable world of I can do what the hell I want, I know the penalties aren't going to be that bad even if I do get caught, and I will be able to emit maximum hurt for my own satisfaction, for my own revenge or for whatever justification they've got. These people need to be caught, they need to be brought to justice, and I hope that justice is swift and very, very harsh. And let's hope also that we as a society can start growing back. Maybe is it better parenting? You can write this in the comments. What is it? Do we need better parenting? Do we need to educate our people more now on what's 
what's it like to be honourable? Even if you do lose your job, even if you are bitter about something, what's an honourable way to deal with that issue? Can you, can you conflict resolute in some different way besides being sneaky and, and an asshole and destroying people's lives or putting other people's lives in danger? Can we be a man or woman about it and confront people one-on-one, -on -one, tell them what you think? That does make you feel better, you know? Or, or there's plenty of other ways, mediums and other ways to resolve big issues that you have rather than putting jobs and other people's livelihoods literally in, in serious danger. You know, we, we as a society have to overcome this and educate our people, obviously, again. Now, I know this isn't the most motivational and happiest video that I've ever done, but I really wanted to put this out here and let you guys know my opinion on this food crisis that we're having here in Australia at the moment. Yes, by all means, grow your own. Where is it? There. But if you can't, you know what? Support your local farmers and don't let these assholes win. Support them, buy their produce, give them a pat on the back, encourage them. Yes, by all means, let's encourage them all to grow organically or use less pesticides, less herbicides and all that, sure. And yes, grow your own, of course. But support them and don't let these assholes win because there are a lot of innocent people being affected by this simply because of a very small number of maniacs that have placed metal objects into things like this. What a beautiful specimen. And that's just not fair. And it isn't logical to just completely stop buying produce from your local or from your farmer's market or from the, even the supermarkets. It's not logical to do that. You can take precautions like they say on the news by cutting the strawberries up or whatever and just checking. But at the end of the day, we can't let these types of people win. If they do, they'll keep doing it over and over again. It's good to see that the government is coming down hard on it and introducing new laws. I think this, this, this time, these types of things, these types of knee-jerk reactions are good. Let's hammer it home now while it's happening, while it's fresh in people's minds, and while the perpetrators might be thinking of reoffending. That way we can stop it and hopefully deter them from doing so. Anyway, I'm sure you guys will have plenty of comments on this. If you do, whack them down in the comment section below. Remember, don't give anybody any extra ideas, please, with your comments. But yeah, any words of support for farmers, local industry, any words of, of how we can overcome this, and vent your anger, of course, in the comment section, go for it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. And that's it. At this point in time, a month on, there's still no closer to solving this crime and who started this trend of putting needles in fruit, in particular strawberries. Hopefully they will find the bugger because this is a real class ass act. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Two weeks on and still more strawberries. Take two.